Hey guys, this is Buttfreak here, and I just wanted to make a quick video concerning Far Cry 5's uh, co-op multiplayer on two different PCs that are on the same network. Um, I know that I am not the only person that's had trouble with this. I've seen a lot of open cases on Ubisoft support and spent three or four days on Ubisoft support chat going over all of the ways that I could forward my ports to make sure that this game worked. Uh, unfortunately, as many of you know, Ubisoft support chat isn't necessarily always the most helpful. Uh, they suggested to me several methods that did not work and several methods that could not physically work because it just can't be done. Uh, for example, forwarding my router to both PCs when I told them that I had a single router with two different gaming PCs hooked up to it, um, which, as many of you networking people out there know, isn't really something that can be done. Uh, and even when it can be done, it is extremely tricky and you have to use multiple routers or multiple uh, different connected devices. Uh, anyway, I just want to let you guys know I did finally figure out the issue that I was having, at least, and I'm hoping that this is going to help some people in the future here. So I was getting these persistent snowshoe and bookworm errors, sometimes 10 minutes in, sometimes 8 minutes in, sometimes 2 hours in, uh, when I was playing co-op, joining my, uh, my partner's game. Her computer is about 5 feet from mine. We're both hooked up via Ethernet to the same router. We have high speed, no, uh, no issue with the download or upload, nothing like that. And it's the only game that's ever given me such a hard time. It ended up being a routing error, I'm, I'm thinking, or an NAT error. Uh, either way, one of the solutions that I tried was actually a fix that somebody had suggested on the Tom Clancy Wildlands uh, forums here. And surprise, surprise, five-year-old advice. It actually worked for a completely different game, and uh, was something that Ubisoft hadn't even mentioned. So what we ended up doing is we ended up downloading and installing NordVPN, which is a VPN that I uh, personally have a sub subscription to. Um, the, they don't sponsor me or anything like that. I just like it because it's cheap. Um, but we ended up getting NordVPN, and we hooked her up through NordVPN, had her host the actual game, and as soon as she hosted the game and I was able to join in, we had no more crashing issues. Um, this is recording here in, uh, in June of 2021, so if people are still having as many issues with Far Cry 5 as I was, or if people are having New Dawn issues, this might be worth looking into, especially if you and the person that you're trying to connect to are on the same network. Uh, now, I don't know if this has any effect on people that are having the bookworm and snowshoe issues that are on different networks or, or in two different locales. That information, I, I'm sure you can talk to Ubisoft support for six months about and, and still not get it fixed. But as far as a local area network goes, it seems to work. We were able to complete the game. I played for about 20 hours in the last week with no issues. And uh, I figured I have not found this info anywhere else online. So I want to make a quick video and let you guys know that if you're having the same issue, it's worth the extra 10 bucks a month or 12 bucks a month, whatever it is, until you beat the game to just be able to not have to have it crash on you every t five or 10 minutes.